thank you technical team encouragement enthusiasm and excellence are one of the major aspect of many organization with an objective of encouraging spirit of research and innovation i dr rani sonanki feel privileged to welcome one uh, one and all on behalf of sri vishnu vidyapeeth vishwavidyalaya uh, vishwavidyalaya indore for today's webinar on integrated crop management vegetable crops due to busy schedule of our honorable vice chancellor sri vishnu vidyapeeth vishwavidyalaya indore dr upendra dhar sir i would like to invite our coordinator or request our coordinator sviag professor uh, vinod dhar sir for virtual welcome of our chief guest dr p a sable sir now i would like to invite our coordinator sviag s triple v indore professor vinod dhar sir for a welcome address please sir oh, thank you dr rajdi good morning at the outset uh, i offer my hearty welcome to our guest speaker dr p a sable our own Dr. Upendra Dhar, Vice Chancellor, Sri Vishnu Vidyapeet Vishwavidyalaya, Directors, Deans, Head of Institutions, Coordinators, Head of Departments of different institutes of constituent institutes of Sri Vishnu Vidyapeet Vishwavidyalaya, Faculty members and dear students, I feel uh, privileged to welcome. our doctor uh, p a samle who is our guest speaker on, on crop improvement in vegetable crops it's a practice in our institute to hold such conferences seminars and webinars to update the students and the faculty also about the recent advances in different fields of agriculture and in the same line uh, today uh, we have organized a lecture on crop improvement on vegetable crops you see there are 17 uh, sustainable development goals that are to be achieved by the end of 2030 and goal number 2 that pertains to agriculture that is elimination of hunger so in this direction we need to improve the productivity of the crops whether they are cereals pulses oil seeds or vegetables or horticulture crops we need to increase their productivity as well as the quality we have to lay the stress on the quality parameters of these crops though there is no doubt that we are in abundance of uh, food grains but we have to secure these keeping in view the changing uh, climate and adverse uh, effects of pests and diseases and inequitable distribution of food grains so we have got to use crop improvement methods which we have been doing for the last several centuries we have been improving on the crop in respect of its productivity and insect and disease resistance water and heat resistances but at the same time it has it has been realized that we have got to 
improve the new the nutritional value of these crops it has been seen that the population particularly the children are malnourished so that indicates that whatever food that's available in form of cereals or oil seeds or pulses or vegetables the nutrient content is not in abundance so we need to improve upon these aspects and we have come up with fortified seeds fortified vegetables in which we have uh, recombined the nutritional traits or improved upon the traits of these nutrients so in today's lecture which will be delivered by our guest speaker that's dr p a sample it's expected that he will touch upon the what are the recent and the present day uh, techniques and technology and tools that are employed put in use for the improvement of crops today's uh, crop uh, he uh, is expected to deliver the lecture on is vegetable crops so you will be the students will get to know what are the latest techniques and improvement of vegetable crops so i once again extend my hearty welcome to dr p a sample to this institute thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much it's a matter of great honor and the pride that we have with us a very proficient personality dr p a sabitar which is assistant professor horticulture kvk sardar kushnagar dantewada agriculture university gujarat our resource person is a completed his bsc agriculture from sri shivaji agriculture college amravati akola maharashtra in 2009 msc in horticulture from us raisur karnataka in 2011 and phd agriculture horticulture food science from the mpkv rahuri maharashtra in 2016 he qualified asr with delhi uh, net in vegetable science and also asr with net in fruit science he awarded with merit scholarship during post graduation by us raisur Sir has published several research papers in national and international journals, several books and chapters, and also more than hundred popular and review articles in Marathi, English, Hindi, and Gujarati. You know, Gujarat agriculture magazines and journals. Currently, he is working as assistant professor in horticulture discipline at KVK Sardar Kushnagar Dantewada Agriculture University, Sabarkanta, Gujarat. Uh, without any further delay i invite our resource person for this webinar dr p a sable sir to share his knowledge on integrated crop management vegetable crops over to you sir please unmute yourself dr sable sable sir sir uh, please unmute your yes sir please go ahead okay okay i will start okay
Yes, if it is visible. Oh, yes, sir. It's visible. Make it full screen. Please make it full yes. screen. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Am I audible clearly? Yes, you are. Yes, sir. Please. Okay. Good day to all. Uh, I wish to extend my sincere thanks and uh, gratitude uh, to Dr. Upender Dhar, Honorable Vice Chancellor of SPPB Indore, uh, for giving me uh, such a uh, golden opportunity to uh, deliver today's expert lecture. Uh, also, I would uh, like to express my sincere thanks uh, to Dr. K. N. Guru Prasad, Dean Faculty of Agriculture, yes, P. 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 Indore, uh, and uh, Professor Vinod Dhar, uh, coordinator of uh, today's program, uh, uh, as like as Dr. Baba Sai Bolonskar and uh, Dr. Rajini uh, Solanki for uh, introducing me nicely and uh, also. Uh, all participants. So, shall I start directly? Ah, uh, yes, please. Okay, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so, this is the our real real heroes, uh, the farmers of India. So, uh, today's my lecture uh, is the integrated uh, crop management in vegetable crops. We should know what is the constituents of the integrated crop management. Integrated crop management consists of integrated uh, nutrient management, integrated weed management, and special uh, horticultural techniques, as well as uh, integrated pest and disease management, which is IPDM. So, uh, one by one, we will uh, see in this uh, today's uh, webinar. First is the integrated uh, nutrient management. Uh, as you know, uh, the plants needs uh, um, ma macronutrients like NPK and CAMGS like secondary nutrients. And uh, beside that, uh, there are minor, uh, but the role is very important. These are uh, macronutrients. And uh, here we can see uh, the uh, particular symptoms shown by the plants, if any particular nutrients, maybe NPK or CMGS or micronutrients may be deficient. So such kinds of the micronutrients deficiencies or uh, macro and secondary nutrients deficiency we can observe on the plants. So here you can see the uh, deficiency symptoms showed by the uh, plants which is monopods and uh, here in this picture we can see the deficiency symptoms showed by the uh, dicots also. So here uh, uh, we, we can see this the inter necrosis like the yellowing portion is due to the deficiency symptoms of the nitrogen. Here need not to confuse uh, in between the deficiency symptoms of the phosphorus as well as the potassium, here you can see the completely marginal burning of the uh, uh, plant leaf shows when it is uh, phosphorus deficiency. And if it is only tip burning, then it, it can be considered as the uh, potassium deficiency. And this is calcium, then zinc. So this is the deficiency symptoms shown by the plant. Uh, which are the deficiencies of the uh, symptoms of the NPK or macro and secondary nutrients. Likewise, here you can see same symptoms also in the plant shown by the uh, plant's leaves. Uh, then particular micronutrients or uh, macro or secondary nutrients may be uh, absent or uh, less. Here we can see the deficiency symptoms chart as well as the remedy. We will discuss in for the slide in details. So uh, first we should know what is the uh, fertilizer use efficiency. Fertilizer use efficiency in the sense whatever the um, fertilizers in the form of chemical fertilizers or any fertilizers uh, like uh, organic manures and uh, bio fertilizers and etc. Uh, particularly when we will apply the uh, chemical fertilizers in the soil, uh, what amount of the particular uh, nutrients uh, have been absorbed by the plant 
glutathione. This is known as fertilizer use efficiency. As you will, uh, as we uh, all know that the fertilizer use efficiency is better in the uh, pH range between 6.5 to 7.5 because it is considered as a uh, neutral pH. When uh, the fertilizer use efficiency will be uh, hampered, it depends on the properties of soil and particularly uh, physiological, uh, physical properties, then biological properties and chemical properties of the soil. If the soil having the pH more than uh, uh, the 8 or less than the uh, 5.5 or higher, then particular uh, um, plant shows the uh, reduced uh, fertilizer use efficiency due to the uh, change in pH. So, as uh, we will consider the nitrogen, then nitrogen uh, uh, losses cause due to the soil erosion uh, and uh, transfer of the uh, fertile uh, soil clay particles from one place to another place. And this is particularly happens in the rainfall and uh, undulating land. Then second thing is that the continuous stagnation of water. Uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, special example where uh, in uh, uh, the region of uh, rainfall where we can see the uh, particular yellowing patches on the crop. Uh, this is the uh, symptom due to the uh, runoff and due to the continuous stagnation of the water. So this is the uh, losses of the nitrogen. Then how we can reduce this uh, losses of nitrogen or we can say the, how we can increase the fertilizer use efficiency. So uh, after application of the nitrogenous fertilizers, we should avoid the seepage losses. Then uh, such uh, fertilizers should not be uh, broadcasted or should not be uh, applied on a, a soil surface. It should be uh, applied with the soil, mixed with the soil, and followed by the uh, light irrigation. Uh, it is better to uh, apply the uh, uh, vermicompost and easter cake or uh, neem oil or neem water area. Uh, again, uh, it can be advised that uh, the uh, sulfur containing nitrogen fertilizers can be used to reduce this losses. And a very important thing is that in such cases, uh, we should have the uh, popping pattern in uh, uh, before the monsoon, uh, like uh, we can say this is green manuring. A green manuring with the green manuring, green manuring box, or we can also adopt the uh, pulses. Uh, in this, we can increase the nutrient uh, level of nitrogen in the uh, soil uh, 56 to 112 kg per hectare. Now, second important uh, macro nutrient is the phosphorus. And uh, uh, what is the uh, concept of fertilizer use efficiency regarding the phosphorus? As you know, the, there are so many types of the soils are present in the uh, India and uh, in such cases phosphorus uh, use efficiency can be uh, increased due to the soil condition like uh, uh, we can say the uh, sodic saline, sometimes sodic soil, calculated soil and that means the when pH is more than the 8. In such cases the fertilizer use efficiency of the phosphorus uh, can be increased uh, by uh, adding some amendments and agricultural practices like, uh, as you know, uh, the phosphorus, after application of the phosphorus in the form of DAP or single superphosphate in the soil and in particular soil having the pH more than the 8, the phosphorus, uh, tricalcium, uh, tricalcium phosphate bond can be uh, formed due to the uh, tricalcium phosphate which is uh, present in the uh, soil which having the pH more than uh, 8. So to avoid this uh, tricalcium phosphate bond, uh, we should take care. Uh, likewise, uh, such kinds of the uh, phosphorus containing uh, fertilizers like HSP, DAP should be applied as a basal application uh, by mixing with the soil, by mixing with the soil and followed by the light irrigation. Uh, even uh, 
the bio fertilizers like uh, uh, PSB culture, azotobacter, and other uh, bio fertilizers to be added as a base in the soil because uh, such uh, bio fertilizers can increase the fertilizer use efficiency because of the whatever the uh, organic acids released by this. Uh, bio uh, agents like bacteria, uh, this is beneficial for uh, maintenance of the soil pH, pH at a neutral level. So, in such a cases, uh, if the uh, soil of the uh, soil pH is at a neutral uh, condition, the fertilizer use efficiency can be increased. And if uh, the soil uh, is uh, acidic, that means uh, low pH. In such cases, the phosphorus uh, will be fixed with aluminium and uh, iron. So, such can be applied by certain agricultural practices like green manuring and uh, uh, like aiding the um, agricultural lime, etc. And the such phosphorus fertilizer should be, as per our earlier discussion, should be applied uh, uh, at a root zone of the plants uh, at the basal stage. Uh, by mixing with the soil and uh, immediately followed by the light irrigation. Now, third is potassium. As you know, the particle size of uh, potassium is attracted towards the clay particle of the soil. So, where the soil is uh, fertile, uh, you can say clay soil, uh, this is uh, beneficial for uh, to increase the fertilizer use efficiency of potassium due to the attraction in between the clay particles and the potassium fertilizer particles. Where uh, the soil is uh, uh, sandy soil, uh, that in that case, the fertilizer use efficiency of the potassium is uh, less reduced. So in such cases, uh, we can see the fertilizer use efficiency of uh, sandy soil is less than the fertile clay loam soil. Uh, so in such a cases, already uh, we have discussed uh, what your uh, the um, phosphorus and potash fertilizers you know, to apply in the soil. It should be applied as a basin and second thing is that uh, should not uh, spray or should not phosphor on the soil surface blindly. It should be uh, mixed with uh, the soil and light irrigation, followed by light irrigation. Another thing is that uh, instead of um, uh, this complete dose, uh, the splits we can uh, divide into the uh, particular uh, crop stages of the uh, crop. And uh, another one option is there when particular plant shows the deficiency of the plants. Earlier we have seen the photos. In such a cases, the water soluble fertilizers contain potassium like zero uh, zero fifty. Uh, 13045 such uh, bio uh, such water soluble fertilizers can be uh, given uh, to the foliar spray to use uh, to increase the fertilizer use efficiency of such fertilizers now this is the model uh, i am very happy to share you that this model is not from anywhere but this is the only from my own uh, home own field here we can see the integrated approach like uh, the uh, ice stock and uh, its uh, manure. Uh, here we can uh, collect all these uh, manures and uh, urine and uh, uh, the cow dung at uh, uh, one side, uh, which uh, inside the ground we have capacity 500 capacity of tank. After um, decomposition properly. Uh, this can be applied uh, to the soil uh, directly by using mud pump also. In second picture, we can see the very efficient and uh, uh, best uh, organic manure is the vermi compost. Here also we can see uh, two or three beds is sufficient uh, for one bed, one uh, thousand to one thousand five hundred uh, vermi worms. Uh, is sufficient and after three to four months, every three to four months cycles can be uh, repeat and such uh, time uh, enriched uh, in compost can be applied in the uh, soil. And uh, I'm, uh, uh, I wish to share that 
instead of 10 ton FIM, 10 ton FIM, only one to two, uh, two tons vermicompost is uh, uh, sufficient. And third is very important factor like biofertilizers. As uh, for our earlier discussion, what is the role of biofertilizers? Uh, here we can see the enrichment of the vermicompost or uh, cake, castor or uh, either castor cake or uh, either neem cake or any organic manures with the uh, biofertilizers. This is the process we will discuss in the uh, next slide. Then uh, you, you might have heard the word jivam root. Here uh, uh, we are preparing jivam root and we have the experience uh, uh, regarding this very, uh, very uh, nice and very good. Uh, here uh, just I wish to share that jivam root uh, have to prepare freshly and have to apply every crop at uh, uh, 21 to 30 days cycles. Here uh, we can see how to prepare the uh, jivam root. Uh, here uh, we can see in this picture the uh, tank having plastic tank having the capacity to 100 liters of water. In this we have to add 10 kg of uh, desi uh, cow um, cow dung. Uh, and uh, uh, I wish to share that the uh, cow dung should be up to seven days and five to ten liters of urine. Uh, here urine can be uh, uh, use. Uh, there is no uh, uh, days limit. Uh, with this one kg of uh, uh, pulse flour, that is uh, particularly uh, calm flour, uh, one uh, tea, like uh, 50 gram virgin soil and uh, uh, one kg uh, black uh, jaggery. If black jaggery is not available, you can Prefer also the juice, one kg juice of the uh, sugarcane or uh, any fruits. And uh, these all uh, constituents you have to uh, include in this. And uh, uh, we have to uh, intermittent steering uh, throughout uh, the days, three times. Uh, three times we have to uh, steer in a uh, direction of the clock. Uh, uh, so that uh, in between 48 hours, uh, it, it can be uh, prepared and uh, we have to uh, keep this uh, suspension, this uh, solution uh, uh, below the cell and uh, uh, we have to uh, cover this uh, tank with the uh, floor and after uh, 48 hours uh, fermentation up to so, till seven days we can uh, apply to the any crops uh, and uh, generally 200 liters of this jivam uh, is sufficient for the one uh, acre and uh, this can be prepared every uh, time freshly and uh, once in a 21 days it can apply in the uh, soil uh, in a standing crop also. Here we can see the nature of application. Uh, is this uh, slide is visible, sir? Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay. And uh, second thing, uh, here we can see uh, what is the procedure, what is the method, how we can apply uh, the sea to the uh, vegetable crops or any other crops. And this is the view of my own uh, uh, farm fair and uh, farming system. Here you can see the integrated farming system livestock and vegetable crops like uh, onion and uh, food crops like sugarcane, then uh, food crops like uh, banana and uh, mango. This is the diversified cropping system. Now, what is the tips of uh, uh, integrated nutrient management? Integrated nutrient, just I wish to share my ideas uh, or I wish to confirm from my side uh, before the uh, study of integrated nutrient management, you should have the details of uh, the soil fertility status. Uh, like uh, we can, uh, we, uh, we also advise to the farmers, uh, we should have the uh, soil analysis report so that we can suggest the base of integrated 
nutrient management. Here, as per our earlier discussion, the natural um, news like uh, um, cow dung, then when you compost, both manures, poultry, etc., or both our uh, sheep manures. Uh, and uh, another part is the name cake or uh, Easter cake, etc. Uh, as per uh, the literature, general recommendations for one uh, acre area, the uh, name cake is 100 kg and Easter uh, cake is 400 kg per acre. And very important, uh, as per our earlier discussion, we should apply the biofertilizers uh, enriched with uh, the organic manure like uh, vermicompost or any other tester cakes or any other name cake or even if those uh, fertilizers, biofertilizers are in the form of liquids, then we can also provide the drip. But just uh, person have to take care that it should be not applied with the uh, chemical fertilizers or at least there should be one big interval in between the two uh, applications uh, like uh, uh, biofertilizers and chemical fertilizers. And generally, one to two kg or uh, liters of the uh, biofertilizers are sufficient for the one acre. Uh, then it is biofertilizers. Uh, what is the role of biofertilizers? As per our earlier discussion, we have seen, uh, seen that the biofertilizers bacteria release the organic acid and this organic acids uh, regulates the soil pH at a neutral level. Then fertilizer use efficiency can be increased as per our earlier discussion. Another thing is that the every crop it is the yield uh, due to this uh, biofertilizers up to 7 to 10 percent. And uh, one more important thing is that the application of biofertilizers with enriched uh, organic manures uh, increase the soil biological property as well as the fertility of the soil. See here we can see uh, uh, it let be let be any vegetable crops or any uh, any pulse crops or any uh, crops. Uh, the method of application is very easy. See, we can, we, here you can see in this picture a 50 kg of vermicompost can be used for enrichment of the isotrobacter and phosphorus solubilizing bacteria, one liter per acre. And after enrichment, uh, then there is a soil moisture situation at a proper soil moisture situation such enriched. Uh, when any compost of biofertilizers with biofertilizers can be applied in the uh, in the soil as well as in standing crop, but there should be uh, no any kind of the uh, chemicals applications with uh, the biofertilizers. And uh, second thing is that there should be proper soil moisture. Now this is the method of enrichment of the uh, organic manure with the um, biofertilizers. Now, uh, as per our theme of the webinar, integrated crop management in vegetable crops, so uh, regarding this uh, cultivation of the vegetable crops, the vegetable nursery is very important. So here we can uh, look into the uh, nursery management of the vegetable crops. Uh, just um, soil is a medium uh, for, uh, to grow out, to grow the vegetable seedling, so it should be sterile, it should be healthy. Uh, so how it can the soil can be sterile or it can be uh, can be made uh, the uh, free from uh, fungal uh, and any other uh, soil burning fungal diseases, propagules. So this is the one method very important. This is soil solarization. What is mean by soil solarization? Where we have to uh, prepare the uh, vegetable nursery, and that patch we have to uh, irrigate lightly, very lightly. Then, uh, thus, this portion can be uh, covered by the white transparent polythene uh, sheet, giving uh, the uh, thickness of 100 kg. Uh, this practice uh, to be uh, keep for six to seven big later on. This airtight uh, quality should be removed, and after um, the proper removal of gaseous, the beds can be prepared for the vegetable uh, seedling preparation. And the selection of soil is very important. 
particularly during the uh, rainy season or rainy season uh, the preparations of the uh, nursery for the vegetables require selection of uh, soil is very important so soil should be uh, having the well drainage capacity and uh, organic manures and very important thing is that the uh, sandy medium to sandy loam soil is best for the uh, preparation of seedling uh, during particularly during the uh, rainy season and soil should have the slight gentle slope to uh, remove all the excess uh, water then this practice uh, followed up to the 6 to 7 a big and later on it should be removed. This practice helps uh, to increase the temperature of uh, the soil inside this one portion up to 50 to 50 to 2 degrees Celsius. And uh, at this stage, the um, uh, fungal propagates can be stopped. Uh, after that, uh, proper removal of the gaseous, yes, uh, the beds for the vegetable seedling preparation can be prepared on the basis of situation. If the situation is uh, at, at the, uh, what we can say, at the monsoon season or soil having the water stagnation capacity, that uh, in that cases, in such cases, the uh, raised bed can be prepared uh, as per uh, we can see in this uh, the, uh, photo, the uh, raised bed can be prepared having the uh, then, uh, as per uh, its length, uh, slope, that is uh, 2 to 3 meter, and the width is 1 to 1.5 meter, and height is 15 to 20 centimeter. Uh, this is uh, ideal, we can say this is ideal uh, razor pair. And where uh, soil uh, is uh, uh, having well drainage capacity and no water stagnation problem here, we can also. Uh, hardware can also be prepared, it can be uh, prepared. And uh, one more important thing is that for uh, proper nursery management practices like weeding and plant, plant protection measures, uh, the width of uh, the bed, ideal bed should not be more than 1.5 meter. And at the time of um, bed preparation, at a vessel, uh, should apply, uh, as per this dimensions of the beds, uh, we should apply yet to gain feasibility composer or organic manure like the uh, FYM, organic composer, etc. and uh, 19, 19, 19, uh, 19 uh, complex uh, water soluble fertilizers, or fertilizers uh, with uh, 50 gram of copper of chlorides at a base. Yes. This uh, slide is visible. Yes, sir, it's visible. Yes, sir, visible. Okay. Oh, okay. Then uh, let it be any uh, vegetable uh, nursery. The sowing of the uh, seed uh, in line, it should be in line sowing and generally 5 to 7, uh, cent, 7 5 centimeter uh, gaps is to be kept in between two lines. And uh, uh, one thumb rule is there uh, the, as per the diameter of the seed, diameter of the seed up to its uh, four times length. Uh, of the um, sowing should be there uh, in any vegetable uh, crop nursery. And after this uh, sowing, uh, after the germination, we should apply the uh, proper uh, uh, water with uh, using the water Then as we already we have seen what is bio fertilizers, uh, what is the recommendations per acre, but here I wish to share uh, one thing is that for nursery management, uh, the, uh, it is less as compared to the main uh, uh, field. So, uh, as per meter square, uh, meter square, uh, uh, 5 gram uh, PSB culture and micro jar can be uh, used in the nursery after uh, 3 to 4 days of the uh, seed sowing. Otherwise, if the this fertilizer uh, these uh, bio fertilizers are in the form of, of uh, uh, liquid and, uh, and the MIS micro irrigation system uh, like uh, uh, drip irrigation system is available then uh, this can be provided to drip 
and uh, two to three times uh, uh, at a uh, 10 days intervals. But one important thing is we should not apply any chemical fertilizers or a chemical hydrochemicals with this. Now, here, very important here, uh, raised bed we have to follow. Then, for proper uh, management of the soil, uh, to the root zone of the seedlings, in, uh, particularly in the dry spell. So, uh, in such cases, we should have the uh, drip irrigation or sprinkler irrigation. Yes, this is the uh, plant protection. Plant protection is very important in the vegetable nursery because, as you know, the transfer of or dissemination of or spread of the particular pest and diseases into the main field uh, are just only from the vegetable. So here we can see um, the uh, this year's previous year's photographs uh, in onion nursery. Uh, before seven to eight days, only. It, here in this picture, you can see photos. You can see this is healthy, but after sudden climate change, like uh, uh, like the uh, uh, uneven and irregular uh, rainfall, uh, after one week only, we, we observe such kind of the condition due to the uh, biotic stresses, like uh, particularly the thrips infestation and blight infection. Now, second thing is that. Uh, re, uh, during this continuous water stagnation, rainfall, and the cloudy condition, here we can see the uh, root rot as well as uh, damping of and built also. Here we can see this. And uh, uh, this is also kind of light. This is caused by the anthracnose light. Here, twister like uh, structure can be observed uh, in the nursery as well as main field of the. Onion. Now, uh, what is the nursery management? Here, uh, we need the particular uh, schedule uh, for the nursery management in onion and other vegetable crops. As we know, the uh, particular spread of the pest and diseases is uh, happens, uh, taken place only from the nursery stage into the main field. So, uh, healthy and dishes and best fish. Seedlings should be prepared for the planting of the vegetable crops. Here we can see the thrips and blight infestation. How we can uh, minimize or manage this uh, problem in the nursery stage? Here we can see the first uh, spray of uh, the Minko Shape plus carbon region at 2.5 gram per liter of water along with the cupronil. The cupronil is for the thrips uh, control. 1 to 1.5 milli per liter of water. And I, I, I wish to share one thing is that during the cloudy uh, situation and uh, rain seasons, we should add the particular adjuvant uh, for the proper uh, uh, use efficiency. Then, second spray, uh, as per the uh, severity of the pest and diseases, uh, to take on of the propicanus hull, uh, 1 milli along with the carbosulfan for. Uh, for blight and fungal diseases and arbosophon for the uh, sucking pest like thrips along with the strata. Now, uh, this is for the aerial worm, now soil worm, that is uh, root rot, then wilt, then very important that the damping of this can be controlled by the clinching of upper oxychloride from the liter of water and followed by as per severity. Uh, 10 days a week after first drenching, second drenching of metallic zinc plus mucosia to come for the water. Now, here we can see uh, the, these photographs. Is slide is visible? Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay, so we can see the <coughs> here the infected nursery uh, the, uh, by the of paste and diseases. Now, this is the view just before of control measure of this above photo, just week of, uh, before. Uh, after the proper management of as per our earlier discussion, uh, here the 20 days after uh, sowing, the 19, 19, 19 to 3 gram per liter of water, along with the micronutrient uh, mixture like heroes 4%, zinc 6%. 
and uh, manganese one percent, copper and more than one point five percent, one to two liter of water uh, during this stage uh, is uh, found beneficial to uh, enrich the plant by the nutrients. Uh, then particular runoff, runoff run and uh, water stagnation of uh, water continuous water stagnation of water is best method for their application. Now, uh, if if uh, the uh, uh, there is requirement uh, on the basis of severity of pest and disease, again uh, earlier discussed uh, schedule we have to uh, repeat once again. Now, uh, if need again uh, ten uh, days or week after first spray again 19, 19, 19 and grade four uh, micronutrient grade. Uh, again, repeat as per need uh, at the recommended dose. Now, the second thing is that uh, nursery management having important uh, concept like uh, weed management because uh, onion is uh, shallow rooted crop and sparse foliage, and crop weed competition is uh, more in the onion. So, uh, we have to remove the weed time to time as per. Uh, first uh, photographs uh, one to two or three times as per the severity of the weed. And uh, in case of the chemical weed control, uh, after uh, the sowing of onion seed, but before the uh, germination of seed, uh, the uh, pendimetering uh, two ml per liter of water uh, can be uh, sprayed to control the weed. Uh, in onion nursery, followed by one or two hand weeding as per the meal. Now, this is the uh, another vegetable here, cucumber, which like uh, watermelon, you can see here. And now, this is the protector structure, protector condition. But uh, the uh, management, like uh, plant protection management, uh, we have discussed as earlier, like for sucking pest and uh, fungal diseases. And uh, here, you can see the uh, preparations of seedling in a protray and a protector condition structure. Now, uh, media, growing media is very important uh, for the vegetable seedling production and uh, media should be also sterilized so that we can avoid the entry of the uh, fungus as well as nematodes from seedling stage to the main fielder. So, our media should be uh, hunting and sterilized. Now, sterilized cocoa pit uh, to 500, uh, just for a, a calculation or just for a proportion. Uh, here we can see the uh, 500 kg sterilized cocoa pit. In that, we have to add 5 kg neem cake and PSB culture and isotope. These are the biofertilizers, 1 kg. And uh, such enriched. Uh, sterilized media should be used for the preparation of the seedlings uh, in a protective condition. Here, one kg of cocoa pit or above mixture is sufficient for one portrait, and uh, one uh, seed of the hybrid vegetables to be uh, sown in the media. And uh, as you know, the rate of the hybrid seed is too much, so uh, here only one uh, can be seed can be used. Later on, as per our earlier discussion, plant protection we have to follow for pest and diseases. And uh, the important thing is hardening. What is meant by hardening? Uh, to sustain the transplanting shop in main field, the um, seedlings have to stop uh, the water up to uh, three to four or five days before the uh, transplanting. And uh, uh, we have to uh, give the light irrigation or watering. Uh, at the night of uh, the uh, transplanting, before one day of the transplanting to the main this hardening. Likewise, here we can see the proper uh, seedling uh, ready for the transplanting tomato is 24 to uh, 40 days. Then, uh, as per our earlier discussion, uh, uh, watermelon, then uh, onion, that is 45 to 45 days uh, after. Uh, this, this will be ready for transplanting and uh, chilly for the reproduction. Then this is a uh, drumstick here. You can see the media, sterilized media as a cocoa pit uh, 
5 kg and uh, sterilized uh, sandy uh, light soil, uh, red soil we can say, this is 2.5 kg and uh, compost or vermicompost, 2.5 kg. Likewise, here we can say 2 as to 1. Uh, as to one proportion we have to keep into mind uh, gram of uh, trichoderma and 100 gram of the uh, NPK that is uh, 90, 90 for the proper nutrient uh, management. Otherwise, uh, 2 as to 1 as to 1 ratio uh, instead of that, 1 as to 1 ratio of uh, fertilized uh, uh, red soil and also uh, can be used after the nursery. Now, this is after uh, just as per our earlier discussion, uh, uh, we discussed that the for nutrient management, we should have the soil analysis report. Uh, having uh, the average organic carbon, NPK, and other. Nutrients. Then and then only recommendations can be followed. Otherwise, on the basis of uh, status, that is, it is uh, slightly less or less or uh, very less or slightly more or more or very more. As per this, we have to uh, increase or decrease the RDF recommended to subcultural is from 25 to 50 uh, percent. Now, this is the time of application ENPK. As per our earlier discussion, we have discussed that ENPK. Uh, N should be 50% uh, at a uh, basal and 50% as per the stages of crop minus plates and P and K as per uh, our earlier discussion. Now, uh, integrated nutrient management in ammonia. Uh, as you know, RDF. RDF is depends on the soil uh, nutrient status and soil analysis reports state to state and uh, agroclimatic zone is uh, different. So, a recommended dose of the particular university or uh, institutes of ICR that followed along with uh, uh, 20 to 40 kg of sulfur per hectare is to be uh, applied as a basal. Uh, it should be applied as a basal and which is important for here we can see the uh, storage status of the onion. This is without sulfur application in basal and sulfur application. Uh, this is the photographs uh, taken after uh, the uh, five months of storage. Here we can see the status of without sulfur application, that is sprouting and uh, uh, rotting, etc. And this is the uh, status after five months of storage uh, from the uh, plot sulfur application. Now, For our earlier discussion with soil nutrient status and soil analysis report, the um, water soluble fertilizer site like 1995 gram per liter of water at 45 days after transplanting and one spray of 0, 0, 50 or uh, 13, 0, 45 at 5 to 10 gram per liter of water increases the, increases the yield potential in one year as compared to the average yield. Now, here you can see the Particular uh, plant uh, shows particular deficiency symptoms of the micronutrients. Here, iron deficiency, here, zinc deficiency, here, manganese deficiency. So, such kinds of deficiency can be um, minimized either uh, by basal application of recommended dose of the uh, ferrosulfate, zinc sulfate, manganese sulfate, magnesium sulfate, 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 etc. If it is not possible at a vessel, then always stay at 30 or 45 days after transplanting. But we should have the soil analysis report for that. If the particular soil uh, shows the nutrient deficiency, like micronutrients and uh, plants uh, also show the deficiency symptoms, uh, then mixture of uh, zinc, boron, copper, manganese, and uh, ferrous, as per recommended dose, like micronutrient grade 4, 2 gram per liter of water can be spread to minimize this. Now here I wish to share this slide. This is the Kharip onion and this is the Rabi onion. This is the my uh, own field and this is at an experiment between university. So uh, we, we previous year, just previous year we have taken the surplus 
uh, yield uh, as compared to the average yield, like 10 to 12 tons per acre in Kharif and 25 to 26 tons per acre in Ravi. So this is a very uh, surplus yield. Now, such in the uh, what what we can say this is a uh, bits like summer crops like watermelon, marshmallow. Here we can also uh, follow this schedule. A bioconductant, water soluble fertilizers, along with the recommended dose of fertilizer as per the uh, nutrient status and soil analysis report. Here at 15 days, 19, 19, 19 at a recommended dose. Then along with this bioconductant rate four. Then uh, at a, uh, flowering stage and putting stage, uh, 0, 52, and 54 water soluble fertilizer, 5 gram per liter of water, along with micronutrients. This is, is we have to repeat once again at uh, food development, at flowering and food development. And fourth one is that uh, 13, 0, 35, uh, or 0, 0, 50 also, you can prepare 5 gram per liter and calcium nitrate, 2, 5 gram per liter of water at the fruit development stage or when the fruits having the size of cricket ball or having the age in 50 to 55 days of planting. Now here we can see the particular deficiency symptoms of particular nutrients, calcium, and here blossom and rot, then stem cracking, then boron, irregular shape of the fruits, then uh, the packing of uh, fruits, which is the boron deficiency, can be uh, can be overcome uh, for our, our later discussion. That is micronutrients uh, having the uh, errors, zinc, manganese, copper, and uh, uh, iron, etc. And calcium nitrate, two to two point five gram at thirty five days after the um, uh, transplanting, and borax, boron, at three to four gram per liter of water. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, otherwise, uh, 30, uh, 13, 0, 45 or 0, 0, 50 and those potassium sonite, 5 gram per liter of water can be spread. If it is not possible, uh, it can um, be given by drip also uh, at a 3 to 5 kg per acre. And this is at the stage of uh, fruit development, that is uh, for 50 to 55 days after. Uh, soy and calcium nitrate at uh, 2 to 2.5 gram per liter of water to overcome deficiency of calcium uh, to overcome the uh, deficiency of uh, micronutrients like micronutrient uh, to be uh, spread as per uh, the recommended dose and as per the right time. Now, in, this is in case of the Bindi, this is in case of the Otra, and uh, here we can see the deficiency symptoms of terrors, zinc, boron, manganese. Likewise, after our earlier discussion, we have to uh, take care uh, of the micronutrients and uh, at a recommended dose of the fertilizer. Uh, Here we can see just uh, one uh, instructional arm views of the uh, previous year without application and with application, that is, without application of the uh, NPK, like 1919, 5 gram per liter. Of water spray and micronutrient period for as per our lab discussion. This is with control, that means without spray, and this is with treatment. So here we can see the daily uh, difference in, with the, in between the harvest from just from one uh, bear is uh, 120, uh, uh, 120 gram difference only from one bear uh, daily. So we can compare. Uh, for two months harvesting and on the basis of water. So this is a very important uh, concept of um, nutrient management. Here we can see along with the RDF, uh, the role of micronutrients as per our earlier discussion at 30, 30 and 60 days after transplanting here we can see with the uh, nutrient management and this is with, without nutrient management. So here also we can see this. Now, second thing is that integrated uh, weed management. Here we can see the in, in weed is habitated to the crop for uh, sunlight, uh, soil moisture, and space, etc. So in uh, onion or an other vegetable crop, the yield losses do occur due to the weed competition up to 52. 60 
percentage is only in other vegetable crops also. So here we can uh, follow the integrated weed management. In onion, here we can see uh, the uh, agiflorophen, 22.5, we see 1.5 liters per liter of water at, uh, as a pre emergent that is uh, two to three days after uh, transplanting at the soil moisture stage. And uh, in second, we can see the uh, um, 1 milli uh, agiflorophen along with the fissure of uh, ethyl, uh, 1 milli at 25 days after transplanting uh, along with 1 hand milling at 45 days. And uh, third the picture shows the uh, control that is without weed management activity. So here we can see the size of onion. Yes, this slide is visible. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Slide visible. Hello. Yes, sir. Your slide is visible. Okay. Uh, so this is the. 90 days uh, use after the uh, treatment imposed in the onion and uh, here control we also can also now after this statistical analysis or experiment which we can just the here i can highlight that and that is 25.55 ton per hectare yield obtained in unweeded control but with proper management uh, of weed Integrated weed management practices as per our earlier discussion. Here we can see uh, the yield increase uh, up to 50, uh, 5.26 ton per uh, hectare, and here only 25.55 tons per hectare. So here we can see the role of uh, our yield uh, reduced due to the um, crop yield competition. So here also we can see uh, the net profit. Uh, is more in the properly weed control treatment in the onion. So, third part of the uh, webinar is the special techniques like uh, uh, mulching, especially in summer crops, summer cultivation. Uh, we should uh, cover this soil uh, with the organic mulch or recommended uh, silver mulch uh, or uh, any other colors of the uh, quality mulches to reduce the uh, evaporation rate to conserve the soil moisture and uh, to reduce the weed infestation. Uh, so organic as well as uh, inorganic mulch can be followed. And now this is the uh, this is the organic mulch and this is inorganic mulch. Uh, here, uh, up to 25 percent uh, soil uh, water can be reduced uh, by using these mulches. Now fourth. Uh, the part of this uh, today's webinar is uh, integrated pest and disease management. So, uh, just I wish to share one message that only chemical uh, way is not possible or it reduces the uh, IPDM capacity. So, the integrated um, approach like uh, mechanical, cultural, then uh, biological and chemical. Uh, we have to apply in the IPDM. So this is NIMAS. So NIMAS uh, is uh, can be prepared for the management of the uh, setting pests. So preparation is very easy. As per this, uh, you can see in this uh, photograph, uh, 100 liters of water and uh, 5 kg of uh, uh, nim leaves and uh, 5 kg of the seed extract or seed powder of the neem, then high liter of the um, urine of the deshi cow and 3 kg uh, cow dung uh, and the mixed and up to uh, allowed for fermentation for 48 hours uh, with the intermittent stirring uh, four times with the wooden uh, bar uh, daily. So after this 48 hour, uh, this can be used uh, for the spray uh, by using uh, the um, cloth. It can be used for the management of second test as well as the liver. Now this is a Brahmas. This can be used uh, for the control of uh, caterpillar uh, uh, or lepidopter or the test. Uh, here the preparation 
is EG. We, here we can see that uh, in 10 liters of uh, urine, uh, 3 kg of uh, uh, azadrin neem uh, uh, use not crush. Then uh, in B uh, pot, uh, 2 kg use of uh, custard apple, then papaya, then uh, uh, that is uh, dawa and uh, pomegranate how to uh, crush and this both two uh, solution how to mix and uh, you have to boil these two solution up to uh, solution get a half, half times. Then after uh, 48 hours uh, said um, keeping in shade then after 48 hours this can be juiced up for the spray. Uh, the 5 liters of this extract have to dissolve in uh, 100 liters of water and have to, uh, used for one acre spray. Uh, it, it can be stored up to the 6 months in the uh, shade and low temperature and this is here uh, essential. It, this is important to control the uh, negative cross border testers. Then this is Vijamrut for the CDT and shear. Vijamrut can be prepared uh, by using uh, 20 liters of water and 5 liters of uh, urine, 5 kg of uh, outdung and uh, 50 gram of the agriculture lime and 50 gram of the virgin soil. After 24 hours soaking, and this can be used as a seed treatment directly. And this is seed uh, limb treatments, uh, dipping uh, of the onion seedlings in the uh, carbendesium 1 gram per liter of water and uh, carbosulfan 2 ml per liter of water. Uh, after dipping, uh, transplanting has to be done in uh, order to avoid the uh, entry of uh, paste and diseases in the main field. Now, this is the integrator paste and disease management in the residual crops. Uh, in first, like the uh, border crop of the mage along on the side of nursery as well as main field it should be planted 15 days of the transplant your nursery. Then, uh, dipping uh, with the carbon design and carbon sulfur as we have seen. Then, use of sticky straps like uh, blue and yellow. Blue for the uh, uh, crypts and yellow for uh, white flag and for the aphids. And uh, trichoderma, really one uh, two, uh, 2 kg per acre uh, by using the vermicompost or directly by using the um, drip system. Now, in this 10 But uh, during the rainy season, we should add the uh, sticker uh, for the uh, for proper uh, results. So this is the purple blot that is caused by the fungal in the onion. Uh, as per earlier discussion, integrated paste and disease management, we have discussed the uh, control measure. Then this is uh, brown blot blight in onion. This is a uh, uh, root rot and this is called as bulk rot also. So, drenching of copper oxy chloride and or uh, redomic that is nicosib and meta lexyl at a 15 days interval is uh, important. Then, this is strips as per our earlier discussion. Uh, the seed treatment and uh, the uh, fipronin uh, 1 to 1.5 ml per liter of water. Then uh, carbosulfan 2 ml per liter of water, propenophos 1 uh, ml of uh, water with the sticker uh, can be used alternatively. Uh, don't uh, use same and same uh, insecticide. Uh, it should be repeated. Uh, it should be uh, repeat with the uh, alternate way. So this is the um, trips management. Now this is the base and disease management in the cucurbits. Likewise, uh, our earlier discussion, the sucking pest can be controlled uh, in the cucurbits by uh, covering the crop with crop cover, non-owned crop cover, 
and this crop cover to be kept up to the 21 to 25 days after uh, sowing that means up to the food formation yes then sticky strap as per our earlier discussion uh, yellow sticky strap for uh, aphids and white fly then blue sticky strap for thrips and this is the way how it should be inserted it should be uh, half uh, fit from the canopy of the crop and uh, this uh, fruit fly trap it should be one fit from the uh, ground level or from the not ground level from the uh, canopy of the crop and uh, four to five uh, per acre which is recommended it is recommended that in fruit fly trap the lure can be uh, replaced once in a month so this is uh, the mosaic yes ppt is visible slide is visible yes sir slide is visible oh. okay now this is a mosaic so as we know the mosaic is viral infection caused by the nectar that is uh, sucking pest like uh, particularly uh, aphids white fly etc so this can be avoided by using the uh, at any stage as per our earlier this question that is uh, stick strap yellow stick strap and uh, blue stick strap then uh, alternate spray of the imida Uh, 17.8% 0.5 ml per liter of water then hypronin 5 uh, sc 1.5 ml per liter of water uh, spiromycin uh, 22.9% uh, sc 1 ml per liter of water so this is the particular schedule to avoid the entry uh, or to avoid the vectors so if if you can minimize the vectors then viral infection Uh, and infestation can be minimized so this is a gummy uh, stain like that is gomosis uh, we can say this is gomosis caused by the phytophthora or any uh, funguses so this is uh, important in the cucurbit so so this can be minimized by uh, crop rotation then uh, seeds to be used to form uh, diseases then carbon dgm 3 g per kg of seed seed image is very important and in fill uh, stand the alternate spray of carbon dm 1 uh, gram per liter of, uh, per liter of water then metagram plus pyroclus probing 2 gram per liter of water alternatively as per the severity of the infection then this is integrated for um, pest and disease management see here as per our earlier discussion water crops like uh, chowar uh, sorghum especially uh, the, we can say this mage and uh, permelate also then light traps for uh, attraction of the lepidopsis orders one <coughs> sorry <yeah. coughs> one light traps for lepid of progress and it should be light at 6 to 10 em at night then uh, should insert the structures uh, for the birds which is uh, essential important to minimize the uh, bores and uh, uh, caterpillars uh, semi lupus etc and uh, 4 to 5% neem oil spray uh, with the sticker and uh, remaining uh, the discussion as per our earlier chemical discussions like the pesticide and uh, fungicide at a recommended dose then this is necrosis that is bird necrosis in watermelon was due to the uh, vector uh, by thrips so this is common in the when uh, temperature is hot and dry Uh, due to the uh, more uh, opposition of the fish host this can be uh, reduced by uh, using the fish management practices so this is down immediately again uh, we, hello this is uh, last slide hello sir your slide not uh, move sir this slide is not visible visible but not uh, slide change kijiye now Nice hello 
No, it does not move. It does not move. It does not move to the next slide. It is still. It is still there. The previous one is still there. Uh, previous one is uh, which is the previous one slide? This is Ekikrit Crete wa rog sambandhan pyaas thrips kit wa papoond blight rog rog thaam. One minute, one minute. It is a pyaas only? Ah, yes. Yes, sir. The okra one was not visible to us. It may be because of oh. the mobile data. Mobile data or the signal might not be the proper. That's why it's not moving. Okay, but anyway, we were on the last slide only. Yeah, one minute, huh? one minute. Just you tell me uh, up to what slide we were we, we was able to see uh, in onion crop, na? No? Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Even After before. that, you discuss about okra. Okay, okay. Before okra. Ah. Yes, one minute, one minute. Perhaps your mobile data has exhausted. That's why it's not rolling. No, no, no. Uh, already, already. Uh, I'm not using mobile data. This is office Wi-Fi. Okay, so okay. I will, I will share once again. Office ka chalo isa. Chalo, chalo. Screen, aapke screen visible nahi hai. One minute, one minute. One minute. Now, screen is visible. Abhi koi slide nahi hai iske upar. Nahi, nahi, aage, aage, one minute. Here, I'm wait kar rahe. The slide is not visible now? No. No, sir. No, sir. I think you share it once again. Sharing, huh? Chai, the Igdo slides see Baki Rathe, Baki to Hoge. Nene, what to Hoge, but just I will just only uh, ah, within so, two minutes. So, within, so, within okra, two minutes. Okra, okra discuss Karate, who slide me? Nene, I'll be Hojaiga. Which would take me? Which in the name of the language? Nay, what to take Nikolai, Dekneke, Nayak, his slide me. अभी काफी विस्तार से अपना जो लेक्चर है वो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए दे दिया है काफी लाभदायक रहा उनके लिए अभी शेयर हो जाएगी सर देख लेना स्लाइड दिख रहा है क्या अभी नहीं दिख रही नहीं सर स्लाइड नहीं दिख रही है स्टिल नॉट विजिबल चलिए अब ऐसे ही आप कंक्लूड कर लीजिए तो हो जाएगा ठीक है यानी वे आ, कोई चिंता नहीं कोई चिंता नहीं आप आप, आप कंक्लूड कर लीजिए
So as per our <coughs> earlier discussion, this is our uh, last part of our presentation. Uh, Pozarim built uh, for that uh, the control major is uh, the recommended dose of fungicide uh, uh, is Mencoje plus Mencoje two gram per liter of water. And uh, last nematode problem. There the nematode problem is more. Uh, we should use the uh, enriched uh, trichoderma enriched uh, vermicompost or organic manure or if possible per acre uh, drip uh, drenching or through drip application of the uh, suspensions like uh, black jaggery 1 kg uh, plus uh, 1 uh, liter to 2 liter uh, butter milk or curd uh, plus trichoderma 1 uh, uh, liter or, or 1 kg uh, plus pastelomyces 1 liter or 1 kg in 100 to 200 liter of water and this suspension should be prepared and after proper fermentation this should be drenched in the uh, soil at the time of the uh, soil uh, proper soil moisture conditions or it can be uh, uh, given through the drip after proper filtration, uh, if though by using or adopting this uh, management practices, the nematode is still remains or still showing the problems, then recommended uh, uh, nematicides uh, can be used that fluent sulfur to uh, percent granules like nematis and vellum prime, etc. And recommendation of uh, this nematicides is uh, depends on the uh, company to company and depends on the crop to crop. Uh, it varies as per crop to crop. So, uh, uh, this can be uh, used for the uh, control of nematodes. So, uh, this is the uh, last slide. Uh, <coughs> now, I am very sorry to, and this is <laughs> not visible to you, but it is visible uh, to me from my side. Uh, with the uh, this slide at the end, uh, this is the last slide, Jai 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 Kishan, Jai Kishitya. <coughs> so, this was the my presentation. <coughs> at last, I wish to uh, extend my sincere thanks and gratitude once again uh, of the three uh, SDV Institute by Indore for giving me a such uh, golden opportunity uh, to deliver a lex lecture uh, in the webinar. Thank you very much. Uh, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Kishivelkian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for such a valuable and fruitful session. Now the panel is open for discussion. If our audience have some queries or questions, they may ask. Yes, welcome. Uh, questions from audience are always welcome. Yes, students, do you have any queries? Do you want any clarifications or explanations on this lecture? Well, Dr. Rajni, please carry on. Okay. So uh, now uh, I would like to invite uh, Assistant Professor Dr. Bahavar Sahib Walenska, sir, for vote of thanks. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, to the one and all attending an online webinar, our chief guest, uh, Dr. Sabri, sir, and all the participants, it's such an honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you all the dignitaries on behalf of the Sri Vaishnav Deputy Shivudala and Sri Vaishnav Institute of Agriculture. I also thanks to our chief guest and resource person, Dr. Sabesa, to take out the time for his busy schedule and to grace this online event. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and the presence. And I special thanks to our uh, team 
teaching staff, non-teaching staff for the support and coordination. Our sincere thanks to our students for their active participation. With this warm word and a kind message, we move to the end of the today's seminar. Uh, thank you, sir. Now, I request our technical team to play national anthem. I request all free states. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayate Bharata bhagya nidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkara Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Utchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Ashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Katha Janagana Mangaya Nayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He <coughs> thank you, thank you very much, Dr. Savle. It was a pleasure to listen to you, to your lecture. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, with this, we have come to the end of the webinar. I would like to thank our uh, speaker, that is the Dr. Uh, P. A. Sabe, sir, also Vice Chancellor Dr. Upendra Dhar, sir, Dean Faculty of Agriculture, uh, Dr. K. N. Guru Prasad, sir, our coordinator, SVIAG, Professor Vinod Dhar, sir, faculty member and student being with us. Have a very good day, sir. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'll leave you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay.